It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier. And Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. For 12 years, Evan Bayh served as U.S. Senator from Indiana, and before that, the state's governor. Birch Evans Bayh III was born in Shirkyville, Indiana, on December 26, 1955. The son of Senator Birch Bayh and grandson of the basketball coach, also named Birch Bayh, Evan was first elected to public office as Indiana Secretary of State in 1986. He held the position for two years before being elected governor. Only 32 years old upon his election and 33 when he took office, Bai became the youngest governor in the nation at the time. As governor, Bai implemented a $1.6 billion tax cut, the largest in state history, before Mike Pence, later vice president under Donald Trump, implemented one larger in 2013. By the end of his second term, Bai had an approval rating of nearly 80%. He was ineligible to seek a third consecutive term in 1996 due to term limits. In 1985, Bai married his wife, Susan, who gave birth to twin sons a decade later. Susan died in 2021 following a battle with glioblastoma. In 1998, Bai was elected to the Senate seat that was once held by his father. He was an early supporter of the Bush 43 administration's policies on Iraq and wrote an autobiography called From Father to Son, A Private Life in the Public Eye. Though he briefly considered running for president in 2008, he decided against it. In 2010, Bai announced he would not seek re-election and was replaced by his predecessor, Dan Coates. He then became a partner with the law and lobbying firm McGuire Woods in the firm's Washington office and also served as a senior advisor with Apollo Global Management. He was a commentator for Fox News from the spring of 2011 until the summer of 2016, when he announced he would again run for the seat being vacated by Dan Coates, who was retiring. Baron Hill, who had just won an uncontested primary to become the Democratic nominee, formally withdrew from the race to make way for Bayh's candidacy. Bayh lost to Republican Representative Todd Young 52% to 42% in the November election. This was Bayh's first ever defeat in his home state, where he was once considered unbeatable. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.